everybody today we are showing part 2 of the MM03 and we'll be using it on this 2005 feed Scudo 2 litre JTD with Bosch common rail fuel system um, so you just connect up the tool onto the battery positive and negative uh, tee in on the rail pressure signal wire you already have disconnected then you're just going to high pressure gauge enter and uh, this tool then will, will, will automatically recognize the sensor so it's found Bosch Delphi Siemens sensor which are similar in the way they operate for example if we were working on a Denso system it will pick up it's, it's, it's a Denso um, if there was an error with the sensor or a problem with wiring on the vehicle um, when, we, when we go to this stage it, it will come up no sensor found so you'll know straight away if, if there is a fault with the sensor or the wiring um, so it's found, it's found the sensor press enter and it's it's doing a zero calibration now already it's, it's reading close enough to zero so we know straight away our zero point for the sensor is good so press enter now we can start the vehicle and monitor the pressure Also, if you're using the Bluetooth function, you can view it, you can view it on your PC in a, in, a graph, in, a, in a graph format. Uh, you can adjust the pressure scale, lower or higher. Uh, the sweat time on the screen. So, so that's it. So it's one of the first things where, where you can 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 read the pressure directly off the rail pressure sensor. And as we said, it, it auto detects the type of sensor and does a, a test on the sensor when when you when you go in first. For example, if we try to connect now with the ignition switched off, comes up sense pressure sensor error because the ignition is turned off in the van and it's, it's not registering it. Um, this part of the tool is very useful for, for example, if you have a non-runner and you want to check the, the, the common rail pressure. Um, for example, if your diagnostic tool doesn't have this function for reading the common rail pressure, or a lot of diagnostic tools tend to lose communication when you're cranking, so that you, you, you cannot view the pressure live, so you, so you can view it with this. Now next, uh, the next part where we can go into a high pressure pump, go here. And then you have Bosch Delphi Denso Siemens. And just remember everything we're doing here is displayed on the on the PC as well, it should be the Bluetooth, which is kind of a tutorial about how to connect to the to the common rail system. So we're going to Bosch and CP1 is the type of system. And sorry, I forgot to mention we're now connected to the rail pressure sensor signal wire and we're connected to the pressure regulating valve with with them on the 03 and we, we have the dummy dummy blank in in the, the the ECU side to stop the ECU from going into default. So I press enter and say so now we have start up, four start up and tightness. So we're going to start up, enter. And it's telling us to insert the adapter. This is the dummy adapter into the into the wiring loom or the ECU side. Um, insert adapter, press enter, enter. So now when we switch this on, the MM03 is going to be driving the regulator to give us 350 bar of pressure. So if I press start, the start up engine will take a few seconds to stabilize. As you can see, that the actual pressure, 350 
with the car, it's matching the set pressure that we're driving the regulator to. So this is a good indication that the system is operating correctly because the target pressure is matching the actual pressure. Um, now we can also adjust the pressure here and see does it respond to the actual pressure. For example, if we go up 400 bar, it's moved, coming up 400 bar, so we go 450, very close to 450, so this, this, this system is fine. We can adjust it the whole way up, up to 500 bar, and then back down to 200. press stop and it can switch off the regulator completely. In that test we were driving the pressure regulating valve independently of the ECU. This is a very useful test to check the efficiency of the system by comparing the target pressure with the actual pressure and it proves that the regulating valve is working ok as it responded to our adjustment. And also if you had a non-start case where the pressure was not building up and when you, if you drive the regulator with the MM03, the pressure then builds up. It proves that you have a fault with the wiring to the pressure regulating valve or a fault with the ECU where it is not signalling the pressure regulating valve. When, when using it in conjunction with the, with the, with the software Bluetooth, um, you can also you can view the, the pressure, the actual pressure in red and the target pressure in green. So as you can see, the red line is right, right on the green one, so, so this is a good, a good system as the target pressure is matching the actual pressure. Uh, you can also see that the duty cycle, that this is the percentage that we are driving the valve on. Uh, if we adjust the pressure, you watch the duty cycle increasing pressure here increasing. As we said earlier, you can adjust this up to 500 bar. Now the next test we're going to do is a tightness test. This checks for tightness or efficiency when cranking. Uh, it's an ideal test for a non-runner. Uh, when we're doing this test, we don't want the engine to start. so. We disconnected the cam sensor or alternatively you can disconnect the injectors. Um, so next then we go into, into Bosch, CP1, tightness, and uh, so it says do not start motor so that's, we have the cam sensor disconnected and now we'll just get ready to crank this while we're doing uh, When I tell you there, Okay, crank. Okay. So when we we're doing this test, as you heard, the battery started to go down, but um, the pressure still rose to just under 700 bar. So, so this is a good indication of the of, of the efficiency of the system, proving that we haven't got. Uh, too much leak back from injectors, proving the, the efficiency of the pump, proving that the regulating valve is working and, and various other things. Um, the next thing we could do then, if this pressure didn't rise when we were cranking, say for example it only went to 300 bar, the next thing you do then is maybe uh, check, check the injector leak back when cranking and then for example if you had too much leak back from an injector you could remove the pipes and fit blanks to the fuel rail so you're taking injectors out of the equation and then you could, could do the test again now if the pressure did increase to six seven hundred bar we know the injectors are the problem um, if the pressure still didn't increase the next thing we could do then is remove the pressure regulating valve and fit a dummy regulator in, into the back of the pump so then if the pressure did increase then we know it's a regulating valve fault 
or if it didn't increase then we know it has to be the pump and in, in that last test sorry I forgot to mention um, in the last test the tightness test the MM03 was driving the pressure regulating valve to give us pressure commanding pressure of 700 bar and we achieved just under 700 so this is okay um, another test we can do then on the pressure regulating valve is to check its mechanical efficiency for example if you disconnect we'll disconnect the MM03 from the regulator and also leave it disconnected from the from the vehicle's ECU so when there is no uh, supply to the regulator with the spring loaded pressure inside the predetermined spring pressure we should have cranking a pressure of 60 to 70 bar and if we have this we know that the mechanical integrity of the valve is okay so to do this we'll just escape back and we'll just go back to high pressure gauge um, can you crank So as you can see it went up to about 65 to 70 bar. So with that test now it, pr it proves that the pressure regulating valve is working okay mechanically and we've already proved it's working okay electrically because we were able to drive it with, with the MM03. Um, that's pretty So another test we can do with this is um, if we go into injectors and uh, now we, we are connected onto to, to number one injector uh, select the type coil or piezo so it's coil uh, main injection so you can move in on your main it's saying to use a pressure sensor part uh, Bosch part number here but this is for when you're using it on the bench in conjunction with a hand pump so um, we, we're just wanting to do a solenoid test now so, just, so it doesn't matter about this so enter enter so now if you listen carefully you will hear that you will hear the, the injector activating the solenoid clicking so press start we can adjust the frequency it's at one hertz so we can now you, you can hear the you can hear the injector solenoid operating so again this is another good test to, to prove the the, the electrical part of the injector is working okay now it does not prove the mechanical side of it or for leak back or anything like this but proves proves it's working okay electrically um, we will be doing more on, on testing the injector in a later video where we'll be testing the injector on a bench with, with a hand pump so keep an eye on that we'll be doing something on that later on and so that's pretty much it uh, as you can see there's a lot of different tests you can do with this tool and there is many more others but due to time constraints with the video we can show them all so if you need any further information on this product uh, give us a call and keep an eye on our youtube channel and our website for more information thank you